Hello everybody, Pastor Darrell from The Quest in Galesburg. I hope you're having a great day today. I want to come talk with you just for a few minutes today about something that I, I know before I even start that uh, some people are going to call it controversial, some people are going to criticize. If you haven't learned this, somebody's always going to have something negative to say, so just don't worry about them. I, I, I don't. Um, the reason I'm going to consider it controversial is because I want to talk about getting to your next level. And I've heard people say over and over, oh, there's no such thing as the next level in the Bible. You can't find that. Well, you know, I can't find television in the Bible. Doesn't mean it's not real. Can't find cell phone in the Bible. Doesn't mean it's not real. Next level is simple. It simply means moving forward. God wants us to move forward, to grow, to progress. So get over yourself, get hung up on next level, all right? Um, here's the thing. God wants us to be joyful people. He wants us to be happy people. He wants us to live a full, contented life. But sometimes, believe it or not, God causes you and I to, to become discontent, to become uneasy, to feel like something's just not right, that um, we, we're doing something wrong. And here's the problem. It's because many times, not always, but many times it's because We've done the same thing over and over and over again until it becomes a religion to us. That's what religion is when you do things the same systematic way. Uh, please don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with doing that because I, I think part of discipline is doing that. But we can become so regimented in our lives, in the way we study, when we study, how we study, that study becomes a religion rather than a purpose-driven experience with Christ. Um, God wants us to grow. God wants us to go deeper, to grow higher, to, to get to a deeper relationship with him. And sometimes that means he has to give us a motivational push. I mean, I, I've said this before and I mean it. Sometimes God has to take the cattle prod to me to get me to move. You know, he's just pushing me forward. Um, Sometimes there are periods that happen by what I will call acceleration, that God just happen, causes things to happen very rapidly. But more times than not, most of the time, what God does in our lives is a process. It is something that we go through and we grow through. Um, he's leading us from one place to another and the problem is many times we become comfortable in that. And when we become too comfortable, it can mean we stop growing, that we stop growing and progressing. And so God has to give us some discontentment, some discomfort to get us to move. Um, maybe you're feeling something stirring in your heart. I, I've been in that place and I, I remember a couple years ago, I didn't know exactly what it was, but it was just like I was discontent. I was not fully happy. And I don't mean to say I was miserable, but it was like I couldn't find that place in Christ that I once had. It was missing. And what I began to realize is God was stirring the nest, so to speak, getting me to the place that I was ready to take a step and to move when he told me to. So our times with Jesus in our study, in our prayer, uh, those are important and they should cause us to grow and to mature. But it's crucial that we don't fall into the trap of doing it, quote, religiously, so that it's just a regimented, I, I know people that, well, I spend 30 minutes every day at the set time and, you know, I, I, I don't know about you, maybe it works for you, but for me, that would grow stale. Uh, there's been times where God has stirred me up and I had to change the translation of the Bible I was reading. I had to change the location. There's times I have to, to this day, jump in the car and drive out to the lake or someplace just to get different. And there I can hear from God. That's one of the reasons why I love going to the ocean is because when I go there, it's so different that I hear God clearly there. Not like he's in the ocean anymore than he is anybody else, but it's that change of scenery, change of routine that God uses. Um, I've had times where reading the Bible becomes a drudgery. Yeah, I'm just being honest. And so I've had to change up 
how I studied, where I studied, and it, I found that during those times, small changes will do things. One day, I, I remember this so clearly, I was so stale in my Christian walk that uh, I literally told God, I said, look, you're going to have to light my fire because I don't know how, and I, I'm just wet. I, I And that moment in my life, I can look back to it, rapid changes began to happen in my life until I put myself in that position, ready for God to do something different in my life, I don't think I would have made those changes. It, it's important for us to come to the place that we will say, Lord, show me where I need adjustment. Show me where I need changes, where I need to die to my routine so that I'm open to what you're saying, what you're speaking. I want to encourage you that I'm not telling you to throw out everything. That's not what I'm saying. But I want to encourage you to listen to God. Maybe he's trying to move you, nudge you a little along, sometimes like me, a cattle prod, because he's got someplace new he's wanting to take you, that you've been where you are too long and it's become too comfortable, that it's become a dry religion rather than a relational experience with Jesus Christ. Hope this helps you today. I'm going to come back and talk more about this another day soon. God bless you. You have a great day. Until next time, I'm praying for you. Come see us again here at The Quest.